All right, I'm doing another hike and finally got one of those there nice days that everybody talks about. I'm going to go down this path around the water and maybe I'll do a ramble if anything pops into mind. Oh, and I'll also show those are my thrift store boots. I always show that uh, I get all these deals at the thrift store. Well, I actually use them. They're good boots. They are Columbia's. Columbia. So yeah, let's go down this path and maybe I'll find a spot to ramble. Nice to see a little patch of green. <laughs> Come on, spring. Not a lot of green in the trees yet. Some are budding and some are not. Geese. I said before, there used to be a family of beavers that I would watch every night come in near the docks up there, but they haven't been back again. And I really do think this is a. Uh, the work of beavers here, that, and then this over here. Doesn't look like it's on there on its own. <laughs> Something did that. Right, geese? Through the trees? All right, here's one of these cases where I wish I knew more about stuff. All that bark off this tree, you can see it. most of the bark is peeled right off it. It's still alive, but it ain't going to last too long. I don't know if that's all from insect damage or what. Weird. Anybody out there smarter than me? Well, there's a lot of people out there smarter than me. But anybody out there know anything about this? My, my best guess is uh, insect damage, but it's not an ash tree, I know that. And I do see some insect holes in it. Man. A couple over there, too. My guess is insects. Some kind of beetle. It's not an ash borer, but some kind of bug. Stuff we got to take care of. More geese. That one appears to be sitting on a nest. See, there's a dead tree. You cut the bark off and it dies. I don't know if that was a beaver or what. I'm sure that's ash. Great ash, I believe, actually. Now again, I don't claim to be overly bright. But that sure looks like where a deer is bed down. A lot of hair. A lot, a lot of hair. And no signs of foul play. <laughs> I don't think anything meant its demise here. I don't really see any tracks around. Oh, yeah, I do. It's a good spot, isn't it? Uh, usually they uh, try to get a little bit more cover than that, though. Oh well. So, I'm going to do a ramble. I'm not even sure what I'm going to ramble about yet, but I know one thing. I'm going to let you look at that stuff. and I mean, Because that's what I prefer. It's easier to talk and think without the camera on your face. Start off with the GoPro. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to talk about, so I'm just going to start talking. <laughs> my first thought was this trip was supposed to be two weeks and I ended up staying a third week because the weather sucked 
And uh, I always try to say, I think I'm going to do a video because I have a couple thoughts, but I need to get more together on how things can be different than you expect and how you have to just learn to uh, deal with it. Roll with the punches, ride the wave, whatever the hell you want to say. You got to learn to uh, roll with it. I didn't do the things I planned on doing on this trip. There's a duck. Fly, duck, fly. I had actually hoped to do some more outside cooking and stuff like that, you know, campfire kind of stuff. But the weather just sucked. So it ended up being different than that. I had uh, I had a lot of plans to uh, kind of get the RV ready, you know, because it sat for a good portion of the winter. I tried to go out every month. I did go out each month, even when it was 10, 15 degrees below zero. I haven't even really de-winterized or whatever my RV. <laughs> um, when I go to a campground, I, I usually use the bathhouse and the bathroom, and this has those, so that's what I did. I bring drinking water that I use for myself and the animals. So uh, I, I haven't even filled up the tanks yet. You know, it's, it's I don't know if I'm going to flush it, if I'm going to do that before I leave. I don't know how well the weather's going to stay, because, I mean, a couple, three days ago, it was freezing. And now I know it wouldn't stay cold enough to do any real damage to the RV, but I didn't see the sense. So, uh, yeah. So the trip was different. More cooking, more inside cooking. Broke the grill out a few times. Not as much. I brought a big 20-pound tank, and I expected that I was going to have it all used up, but that didn't happen. But back to my videos. And again, um, this uh, if I go off on any tangents, I never mean to insult anybody else because... I'm not, I'm not that way. My subscribers are getting up there in number, but I also at the same realize I might have a high number of subscribers, but very few people actually watch the videos, you know. If you do stuff on showing somebody how to do something, people will watch that. Or if, if sadly, if you have drama, you know, people like that. And it takes, uh, you know, people that do that do a good job because it takes a lot of effort to think of things to do. I, again, I don't insult anybody, and, you know, people mention names and stuff. I, I really don't watch that many channels, and the ones I do, I don't comment on them as much as I should. I usually hit a like, because they tell me that's a polite thing to do. Luckily, I don't get a lot of hate, and then I don't get a lot of people talking smack. I, I don't have to block anybody, and I rarely ever delete a comment, but, you know, I'll make, I'll make a video that I know will not be popular like a sunset video. Most people aren't into that, and the clouds moving and all that. There's a handful of people that like it, and I really like it, so I make those. And for the handful that like it, cool. But I just, I try to show stuff that, that is boring, that is purposely boring. You know, I'm not sharing much of my real life with people. I, I don't think that's YouTube's business. I don't and I think sometimes that people that seem to share a lot, they're still sharing what they want to share. You know, whether it's real or whether it's you know, reality show stuff. One of the least real things in the world are reality shows. You got people saying there's not enough drama. You, somebody slap somebody. Grab that girl's hair. <laughs> you know? And for me, I've never been a Jerry Springer person. You know, I've never been a reality show person. I just, it doesn't interest me. And I try not to judge anybody on it, but I don't feel better laughing at somebody else or I don't feel better, doesn't lift me up to push other people down or to, to think badly of people. So I'm just not into that stuff. So I try to do my videos about, you know, even like all the cooking videos that those that watch it like, they don't get a lot of views. Not really, but I enjoy doing it because maybe somebody will say, well, you know, somebody thinks they're going to go out in an RV and just eat hot dogs all the time or just, God forbid, terrible food. You know, I don't eat super healthy. I'm not a vegan or anything. I'm not on a plant-based diet, but I try to eat semi-decent. So my idea is this is something I enjoy. And I, in some ways, it helps me try to think of different ways to cook stuff because I don't want to show the same video over and over. That's an odd ramble. I'm going to stop for a minute. So, you know, I'm at that point where I'm realizing I got off on a ramble that I probably don't even want to, I won't post, most likely. It's so easy in the RV YouTube community for those that make videos 
it's so easy to sound like you're you're knocking people down and people throw people's names out that they hate or they like or I, you know I, I just don't get that I think if somebody doesn't like my videos please don't watch don't come back every day to find a new reason to be angry you know what I mean yeah I still hate that guy well, don't watch it's just me and I think I think the people that watch watch mine are, are probably the same way I, I'm not a selfie stick camera on a stick I try to do better to be on camera from time to time to show the real human being thing I made it through my 30s with my liver barely so I don't ever do any stupid drunk videos because I don't get stupid drunk very much anymore and I, I don't drink all that much anymore but there's there's none of that nonsense <laughs> yeah that's gonna get deleted out right yes it will because I don't want to offend. Maybe that'll take me on to the topic. I, I, I don't want that. God knows there's things you can do to get a lot of views for a YouTube video. We all know what they are. But the sad part is the highest majority of them are just being nasty. So this isn't one of those, oh, I'm tired of doing YouTube videos. I'm not doing that anymore nonsense because half time when somebody's doing that they're just begging people to start watching them you know they're worried about that it's not that it's just it's going to be more of the same you know and i know if views and subscribers and clicks and all that were my my goal i would do my videos a lot different it does take a lot of time and effort editing and all that stuff but you know if you help some people, that's really cool. It always seems like every time, like, oh, I need to take a break from this. Because anybody that does these on a regular, you know, you get to that point where you want to take a break from it. But you'll get somebody. I got a couple posts recently, and I'm terrible at ever remembering who said what. But really nice posts and really thankful that I, I helped somebody. You know, that somebody truly said, thank you, you helped me make a decision or do whatever it is they wanted to do. So that keeps you coming back because I ain't about the drama. My God, I'm not about the drama. And I ain't angry at nobody. I find it a lot better to make fun of myself than make fun of somebody else. Because except on rare occasion, I usually don't punch myself, you know. <laughs> But there's, uh, there's no need to be all nasty out there. All right, I'm going to switch to the other camera. All right, we'll break out the Luminex here. I'm not... Uh, I understand that my, my editing or my uh, professional-looking videos are far below the standards of many other people. And guess what? I don't care. I ain't making any apologies. I have this Luminex camera that I'm using now, it's Panasonic. I got a pretty good deal on it, I think it's a good camera. Besides that, I'm still using my cell phone, which is getting pretty old, it's a Galaxy S4. And the GoPro Hero, which is the cheapest one they make, and I bought that little faux pro, which I don't use very much because the mic on it is just terrible. Um, I do try to edit them, but I'm not going for a high production value. Some people hate that, some people like that. I also, I'm going to put this in the stuff that I thought would be different, but when you get out there, you always think you're going to get free Wi-Fi everywhere, and it and when you do, it's, it's rarely as good as you think it is. So when I go on a trip or go somewhere, my my uploads of videos tend to be in bulk, like you've seen recently, you know, three or four in a day because I make a trip to Wi-Fi when it's decent and other than that I don't use up my data to upload videos you know I know there's a lot of people out there that their data plan is very important to them and that's how they do everything but my data plan I use for different things than uploading YouTube videos I don't mean that as a slight in any way because I do like doing these but I think it also shows this is something I do because I like it. It's not a job. You know, I don't, I don't look at this as a job. And I would think if I did, I'd stop. Okay, so the wind seemed to die again. So, yeah, I don't do this as a job. 
I make a little side money on it, but I, again, it's not my goal because I would hope people would get that if it was my goal, I'd make a lot more money than I make on this. I think if you break it down, how much I make an hour, I'm probably making a nickel an hour. Popular people are making more on one video than I make in a month. But that's okay, because I'm doing what I want to do. So if any of you are out there going to do videos, you got to figure out why you want to do it. If you're going to do it because you need it as, as your sole source of income, I ain't judging nobody doing that. But the downside comes with that is your uh, programming or your, your source material or whatever you want to call it has to become something that you need to get a lot of views on. Some people do a great job. I'm again, I, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hating on nobody. So I have an outline of another trip in my mind, and when I get back from here, I'll probably start doing some planning. And my planning is useless, really. I think I've talked about it before. What I basically do is I, I get an idea of want, where I want to go, and then I find places along the way, and I kind of take a folder with me just in case you get someplace where you don't have any cell signal. So I kind of make a folder and I give myself options of where to go and what to see and where to stay. Okay, so when I plan those trips, um, a big part of it is, and this is going to go on that how I thought things were going to be different than they ended up being. Because of the animals, I tend to stay places where I got power because I've had a couple times where I've been out there in the RV and I know it's hot and I can see that it's stressful on them and although I would much rather do more boondocking um, I just can't do it you know I just feel guilty so my thing ends up being I get to a campground turn the air on and then I go places and I see other people that travel with pets that, that seem not to have that issue and, and I don't know maybe I'm nuts maybe I'm overprotective or something like that but Maybe I'll get some areas where it's not too hot and I can do a little bit more boondocking. But, you know, we all long for the summer and the summer is great. But sometimes the fall and even the winter is easier on you if you're traveling with pets. So I guess this video traveled into the whole why I make YouTube videos kind of thing. But I just want to say I know my, my viewer count is getting up there, my subscribers. Um, but I really want to thank the people that watch quite a bit and especially the people that communicate with me You know, I, I really enjoy that. I hope I hope sometimes you enjoy the communications back and Thank those people that watch it and, and feel they get something from it and Also want to thank the people that don't like it, you know, like you watch one and you don't like it But you're nice enough not to call me a jerk or <laughs> Or make fun of me or you know just be nasty. There's enough nasty out there. So those that bite their tongue and don't say scathing things, I want to thank you, seriously, because it's probably warranted quite often. But you got to laugh at yourself sometimes and don't take yourself too seriously. Okay, so we'll come back over here. So I, I got to close in on wrapping it up because nobody wants to listen to this nonsense too long. Um, but I like to sometimes say okay I make these videos I do what I do but when this guy goes out in his RV what does he actually do well this is kind of it <laughs> you know I, I like food <laughs> so I, I do a lot of cooking um, sometimes I make videos of it I I like to get to a place know that the two fur balls that again I'm not ever going to apologize for, and even though they get on my nerves and I know my travels would be easier at times without them, I'm not complaining about them and I'm not like going to get rid of them. But um, So I get there, I get them settled in, and I, I go wander. You know, I walk around, I go on a hike like this, and I'm sitting here talking at a camera this time, but a lot of times I'm just sitting here checking things out, looking at stuff pondering nothingness and pondering everythingness <laughs> if I make a if I make a long sunset video it's usually the GoPro is sat in a spot near me and just records and then I speed it up because I like that crap and other than that I'm sitting next to it and enjoying it sometimes I'm talking to people and sometimes I'm not
So yeah, if you're going to do this, if you have a pet, you'll have a great time with a pet. If you don't have a pet, do some of this first and then decide if you want a pet after you've done it for a while. See if uh, a pet would add to your journeys or if they would impede your journeys. And then make a decision on what's best for you and whatever pet you might have. So there's the pets wrapped into this. Isn't this a beautiful spot? I'm going to get the other camera and put it in front of this, talk to it, and see how much better the picture looks than the GoPro Hero. Again, I'm not trying to be Spielberg. I'm just, I'm who I am. I'm a doofus with a GoPro in a cell phone. <laughs> All right, so I literally set the Panasonic Luminix. It's the DMC FZ70 directly in front of the GoPro Hero to see the difference between the picture quality. I'm sure the Panasonic is a little bit better. I got that on a really good deal. Everything I'm, I do on is on a budget. <laughs> You know, thrift stores, all that kind of stuff. Well, I buy more crap from the thrift store than I need. I'm going to admit it. I ain't lying to myself. It can get fun and, and then get a little too fun. But I like to think the things I buy, I put to good use. And I also know that a few people have asked me about this spot. This one's a secret, and I'm not meaning that to be a jerk. It's my private little secret place. When I go on a lot of my other places, I tell you exactly where I've stayed. I mean, I include GPS coordinates sometimes, trying to help people out. But every now and then we get some that's just for us. I also hope that some people can understand, put yourself in the position of a person that makes YouTube videos. Um, try not to judge somebody on how much information about their own personal real life that they share on YouTube. Because if you think about it, it's a... Uh, it's a great big weird internet out there sometimes, so I think most people try to be a little bit careful. <laughs> so there, I did a ramble. I don't know what it is. The hardest part about doing a lot of videos, especially rambles, but like most of them, is the editing process. It's easy to criticize when you watch other people's videos. That's why I tend not to do it, because I know what it takes. Rarely do most people's, oh, I, I can't speak for other people, but rarely for me do my videos ever turn out really how I wanted them to, especially the rambles. I, I have some friends, and, and a, lot of, a lot of people do enjoy the rambles, but, you know, when I sit down and I'll edit this, could you be any more Captain Obvious? You know what I mean? You're, you're telling people shit they are, stuff they already know. I try to edit out the swearing because, you know, I, it's not necessary. Um... But that's an indication of how my real life is different than my YouTube. The propensity for swearing is much, much higher in real life. We'll just say that, that swearing on YouTube videos, I don't think I need to do it. In my real life, sometimes it seems more appropriate. <laughs> so for those of you that watch a lot, again, thank you. Um, hopefully it's that, that idea that, okay, when I know I put one of his videos on, he's not going to insult anybody. It's not going to ask me for any money. Again, I'm not judging other people. I'm just saying. I guess I'm just going to say it's pretty much going to be more of the same. If you want different things, the Internet's a great big place. You know, if you find something you like, you watch it. If you find something you don't like, please don't watch it. You know, I, I, I know there's a lot of people out there that watch and watch TV shows, YouTube, watch all kinds of things that they don't like. I don't. I don't get that. I think I think that's something we shouldn't try to do. <laughs> There's enough bad stuff in life, you know. Avoid the stuff that reminds you of it. It's always cool when I get a nice comment or somebody says, "Oh, that place you went. I've been there. That's my hometown. Made me think of this thought, or you know, what you did, where you went, what you did, what you said. Remind me of something. You know, the Wayback Machine, where people get to stir a memory." That's really cool. So that's a long, pointless ramble. It may or may not make the cut. However long this turned out, where you go, oh, God, that was long. It was probably way longer, and I threw a lot of crap away. <laughs> I really hope you get to have a great and wonderful day. And I like to say, because I mean it, if you're watching these because you want to do stuff like this, I truly hope. You get to do it, and you get so busy that you don't have time to watch my videos. That you're having too much fun doing your own 
chasing of dreams and wanderings and all that kind of great stuff. And if you can't do that, hope these are helpful in biding your time or whatever it might be. All right. I've said too much. I've said way, way, way too much. Have a great and wonderful day. All right, now it's time for me to walk all the way back to Cousin Eddie and the Furballs. Did you really make it all the way to the end of this ramble? It's amazing. Have a great and wonderful day.